Hannah is in Cheshire. Um, Hannah, what have you got for us? Afternoon to you. Afternoon, Ian. I just had to call because at the moment um, we are making moves to leave the UK. Yep. Um, we're, we're by no means multimillionaires, but we do all right. We've worked very hard. My uh, husband works for a um, London, uh, Silicon Valley-based software company, and he employs about 10 people in the UK. Okay. Um, you know, we do okay. Our children, we're very fortunate we can pay for our eldest child to go to a private school. Um, but we've got to the point now where we're being squeezed every which way, whether it's fuel, tax, you know, child, everything. And what, we're not getting any value for money. And it was really brought into perspective this year when my husband was really poorly and the NHS couldn't treat him. So we paid, went private for treatment. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we were unable to get a doctor's appointment for our, ch our youngest child. We, um, we to, to heat our home is ridiculous now. And the thing is, you can Welsh, but well, people in this country don't seem to have that aspiration anymore and they'd rather just wealth bash. Now, the problem is, we are just one example. So we, in a fortunate position, we pay a local childcare company to look after our children while we work. Yep. We pay a gardener once a week to come to our house and look after the garden. We use our local village dry cleaners every week. We have a local girl that comes and helps clean the house once a week. So money makes money go, the economy go round. Now, the problem is, we we are um, we're in a situation now where we have terrible access to health and dental care terrible state education is on its knees just like the nhs and the police don't seem to be wanting to help anybody especially not in rural areas they're more busy painting nails and going woke so we, we've had to sit down and think well what are we going to do do we want to bring our children up in this society that's quite frankly gone crazy and at the moment we're in a conservative government if we get a labor government we are 100 percent gone so you so think if it's bad now then the imagine, uh, all, all the yeah. indicators or certainly all the typical indicators would suggest it's going to get yeah. a whole lot worse 100 percent. and if lots of people like us who are middle of the road not multi but have strived and worked hard yep. and done the right things if we're all going to go Who's left paying in? Not many people, is there? And at the moment, we're in a precarious situation where we've got more people taking than paying in. And I don't want to be in this society if that's all Where, where is the society where this isn't the case? Where, where could you conceivably wow, wow. find yourself, Hannah, where you think this looks a bit more like a bit of me? Well, do you know what? That's a really interesting question. We're looking at a few options uh, in Europe, Luxembourg, Switzerland. There's obviously Dubai. Yep. There's uh, Bermuda. Now, all these countries, we would pay tax, aside from Dubai. We would pay tax. But we would be getting value for money. Yep. And we would be getting a, a safer environment. You know, if my husband works another 100-hour week and then reads on the news about another local hotel being taken over by migrants, we'll be going next week, not, not next year. Gotcha. <laughs> It, it's not a good situation for anyone. And, you know, people need to understand that if these middle-of-the-road and high taxpayers leave, who's paying for services? Who is it? Who's going to do it? It's a very good point. Listen, Hannah, thank you very much indeed. Who will pay for those services if people decide, as Hannah is thinking, to leg it? Uh, that very real sense that, you know, life's just a bit, a bit rubbish right now and very, very expensive.